Hey, what's going on, everybody out there? And today, we're going to dive deep into the world of Madden and, and discuss how ultimate team players have impacted the game of Madden. And we're going to ask, has the rise of Mutt and its player base ultimately led to the downfall of Madden? All right, let's get into it. Now, before we dive deep into the negatives, like I'll myself acknowledge that the immense popularity of Mutt, a lot of people love this mode. It was introduced back in Madden 10, and it combined like the thrill of collecting cards and building green teams. And quickly, you know, it became the most competitive and to some the most re rewarding experience in Madden. But over time, Mutt's influence has really noticeably affected the Madden experience. First of all, the pay to win model. Mutt introduced a microtransaction model that allowed players to buy packs, gain advantages, with better players. Uh, this pretty much is what created the uh, pay to win culture, where those who spend a lot more money have the best teams. And this uh, leads to a lot of frustration, irritability, and just really for those players that wanted to experience that mode, looking for a balanced and fair playing field, it's just it was just non-existence. The next thing is the lack of focus on other modes, and this was notable notable with the uh, lack of development in franchise head-to-head uh, -head modes. Uh, over the years, we've just seen like just fewer updates, fewer improvements, just leaving the players who enjoy these other modes just literally out in the dark. You know, you pay your money to get this game to enjoy what you want to enjoy. Your dollar is no more less than anybody else's dollar. So why should somebody who pays $70 for the game and plays Mutt have a better overall experience than somebody who plays $70 to enjoy franchise mode or $70 to play just head to head mode. It's very, very unfair. Next thing is game balancing issues. Now, the desire for EA to uh, keep mutt pack sales high, you know, it's led to some uh, questionable gameplay balancing decisions. Uh, you know, certain player cards become disproportionately overpowered while others are left behind, leading to, once again, a huge imbalance. And this kind of trickles down to just the regular players and people are playing head to head. And the next, which is probably the worst, it has totally divided the Madden community. You have those who are, you know, all for Mutt, and you have those who are all, all against Mutt. And with EA having the exclusive license, they need to understand you need to entertain the entire crowd. Uh, you can't cater to one side over the other. Everybody's paying the same amount of money to walk through the door. So it's your job, especially with you having the NFL license for simulation style football. The only person that can make a game or the only team, sorry. And, and put out this garbage year after year. And let's talk about the Mutt community. Even though they're a uh, passionate and an engaging community, they're uh, very toxic. And they get a majority of the views and everything else as far as YouTube. Once again, it's just the game has become so lopsided towards this one part of the game it's just absurd. And the traditional Madden players, you know, on the other hand, those who prefer modes like franchise and online head to head, they feel excluded, ignored. Uh, the focus on realism, strategy, and other core gameplay mechanics that literally made Madden great in the first place has been thrown to the side for them to literally just wholeheartedly focus on the aspect of Mutt. Now, the big question is, can 
Madden find a balance that caters to both. I, I don't think that that's possible, honestly. I think that the game needs to be uh, split up. Muttness needs to be its own thing. And then Madden needs to be its own thing. Especially with John Madden, whose name graces the cover of the game, was an X and O's guy. Uh, to cater to Mutt is preponderous. It's just ridiculous. They need to just make it its own game. Let those people pay their $70 and go mutt themselves to death. And let those of us who grew up playing Madden have what started this whole thing back. Focus on franchise. Focus on career mode. Focus on head-to-head play. Good updates. Playbook updates. Those things that made the game great. Um, so to close this out, all I'm going to say is ultimately, and I believe this wholeheartedly, that Mutt is going to lead to the downfall of Madden. Once the exclusive rights is pulled from the hands of EA, uh, this game is going to go down like the Titanic because they're going to be so far behind because of their focus on one aspect. It's going to leave them left in the dust by other developers. But once again, this is just a thought. And until next time, it's been Smoking Jay, and I will see you either in the ring or on the field.